Hi everyone, welcome to day 15 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the most asked data analyst interview question. So let's say the question, write an SQL query to retrieve the product details for item whose revenue decreased compared to the previous month. Display the product ID, quantity sold and the revenue for both current and previous month. So let's see the data what we have inside this orders table. So in the orders table we have order ID, order date product ID, quantity and price. So let's see how we can solve this question. So first things that we need is basically product ID. Okay, for each product ID, we need total sale for current month, right? Total sale for current month, right? So to get the current month, we can basically do basically, you know, filter the data based on basically this order date and from the order date, we can extract the month and then we can compare with the current month, right? So we can do a group by by the product ID. That's how we can get basically current month, right? So product ID. So we can do a group by by the product ID and filter the data for current month, right? So current month. Now we will be getting all these details by just doing simple selecting the product ID, selecting the total sale and doing a group by before the group by we basically need to filter the data for the current month. So once we done this, we can save this data in a CTE, which is going to be basically current month revenue. Then we can simply do the same thing again in another new CTE where we can basically minus one month from uh, the current month. That is how we will be getting the data for the previous month. Then we can basically compare both the data from the CTE and that's how we will be getting our result. I would request you to watch the video till the end because this is one of the most asked interview questions so a lot of your concept are going to be clear in this video and at the end of this video i'm going to give you a challenge which you can solve to improve your sql skills so let's see what we can do so first things that we need is basically product id which is going to be this column which is product id so you can say product id okay and then we will need for each product id their total sale isn't it so we will need a total sale which is going to be price into quantity right so because we have a quantity column so price into quantity that's going to be our total sale as total sale right so that's going to be total sale or total revenue whatever you call now we can say from which table from orders table so the table name i'm giving is basically the orders table so from orders table i'm getting product id and the total sale which is by doing price in price times quantity that's how i'm getting total sales now i'll be doing simply group by by basically you know this product id so i would say group by group by this column which is product id now i will be getting basically the total sale now this is going to be the sale for all the data now let's just run it now you can see we have product id and their total sale now we need the data for the current month right so that's going to be the you know one filter condition which we will need to apply so we can simply do some filter conditions based on the order date which we have like here so based on this column so we can first extract the month from this column and we can see the data is only for 2024 so we can extract the date month from this column then we can compare it with basically current month now let's see how we can basically do that now we can go out and use the extract functions here so we can say extract what i want to extract is basically month from which is going to be order date order date now if you're using mysql then it's going to be simply month and inside the bracket you simply put the order date that's how you basically extract the month uh, from this kind of date okay now for this is for postgres sql so i'm extracting month from this order date and i will compare it with the current month now how, how can i get current month again i can use the same syntax which is going to be extract month from the order date not from this time order date is going to be current date current date now if you want to basically check this what does this return let's see you can just go ahead and say select and uh, we can run this one now you can see it's going to extract the month from the current date because this current date return the today date from the system and from the system it's going to extract the month now we are saying that basically filter the data based on the current month which is going to be 4 that means april right so now if i just run this query now the data is basically filtered for the current month now for the current month you can see their revenue like this one product which is one thousand dollars then two products six forty dollars and the third product four fifty dollars right now i can save this data in a cte because i need one more data same table basically one more information but for the previous month isn't it so i can just go ahead and save this data in a cte now if you do not know cte so cte is basically common table expressions so you kind of create a table based on some you know select or you know some syntax and then that you know basically table get stored in the cte and you can basically run some query below that and to basically you know kind of get the information from the cte if you do not know about CTE, just write a comment. I'll be making a video very soon. So let's see how it works. So I'm saying with and now I'll just need to give the CTE name. So I want basically this one called current month revenue. Okay. 
so this is the city name i'm giving you can give any name but i'm just giving some nice meaningful name now you say s now inside the bracket you basically put your whole query so query is going to be this one this is the query that i am basically putting inside this cte now what is actually happening is basically if i just run this query you see that i am getting some information that means i am getting the current month sales isn't it so i am basically saving this data that means you can basically extract this data into excel then you can basically import the data then basically you can create a table and store this data isn't it then you can create do it again for the previous month then you can kind of do your analysis to basically see which products revenue has decreased so in in sql we we can use this cte functions to basically solve this problem where you don't have to extract the data in excel you can simply use the cte to kind of you know do this kind of analysis you know so let's see how we can add one more cte now because now i want one more cte for the previous month so i can simply copy everything from here okay like this whole query because the previous month is going to be same i just need to minus one from here right now let me show you how it's going to be, you know give me the previous month so what i'm saying now this time extract the month from the current date and minus one month that means if i just run it you can see it's going to basically return me three which means march so now you can see this is returning three that means the march right so that is how i am getting basically the data now this time for the previous month so now let's just go ahead and basically see what we have for the previous month so now previous month you can see sale for the product one was twelve hundred dollars product two is eight hundred dollars and the product three three is five forty dollars so what we need basically we need the product details whose revenue has decreased right so now this product revenue has decreased in the current month it was i think it was one thousand dollars so let's see how we can do it now i can save this information this table whole table by the name called new city by the name called like you know current month instead of current month we will say previous month you know city or revenue okay so let's see how we can do it now as we are already created one city and now this time i do not have to use basically with clause i can simply say comma and i can simply give the name of the city which is instead of current i would say previous month which is going to be pre i'll just give some short short form so pre month revenue okay so this is done now i'll just simply to use s now inside a parenthesis i can put this query so i'll just put this query in a parenthesis so it's going to be like more uh, you know readable now i can just move it little ahead so it looks like uh, really nice so i think i can just move this one as well also okay so this is perfect i don't need two i can just remove one you know here space so this is perfect now let's just go ahead and you know see so now this city is going to return me previous month revenue this city is going to return me like current month set cte now we can simply go ahead and basically select few things from uh, both the table and we can compare like which product revenue has decreased so now in both the table we have one common column which is product id right so based on this product id we can make a join now how can we make a join let's see so let's see what are the things we need in result in result we need the product id okay so let's see in display product id quantity sold and the revenue for both current and the previous month now we also need quantity sold so i can just add one more column here okay so i can say basically quantity sold that's going to be basically you know sum of sum of quantity okay this one and i can just give a name called as quantity sold okay now i can just give a comma so same thing i will be adding for the second you know city as well so this is perfect now i can just go ahead and say what are the things i need i need product id okay now product id i can select from any table that's totally fine because we will be doing inner join between this table and this table basically this city and this city so i would say product you know id so i'll just later on i will be adding the aliases so let me just first select the things that i need so i need quantity sold okay so i need quantity sold and i need basically the total sale okay so total sale now let's just see so we need the thing is that we need product id quantity sold revenue for both current and month you know previous month so we need product id quantity sold and then revenue from both the you know basically previous and current month so now let's say we need product id quantity sold and total sale so this is going to be like revenue for the current month and the previous month so this is one one is which is going to be for current month right so let's just give some name here maybe okay. nice meaningful name so i'm saying current month instead of sale i'll just give it revenue okay oops revenue so let's just do the same for the next city as well so this time i will say instead of current i would say previous okay which is going to be pre short form previous month revenue okay now here i can say basically what i need is basically product id other than product id i need basically the quantity sold so quantity sold 
okay then i will need basically the current month revenue so that's going to be current month revenue oops then other than that i need what is basically previous month revenue so now this quantity sold is basically we can go ahead and select like if you want to get the quantity sold for for which you know previous month or current month let's just select from both right so i would select both quantity sold okay so quantity sold from the both the you know month let's just do the same okay so now this is fine now we can just go ahead and make a join okay so we can see that this one which is current month revenue okay and we can join both the tables so from current month revenue i can just name it as c uh, r that means current month revenue i'm just giving a nice aliases so i can see that this product id i'm getting from this current month revenue this quantity sold i'm getting from the current month revenue and this one i'm also getting from the current month revenue which is this one okay okay now i'll be making a join between this two table which is this this two cte previous and the current month so now i know they both have same column which is product id right so based on that i can make a join so i can just go ahead and say join now join with what which is going to be like previous month city like this one okay so let's just copy it and let's just go ahead and make make a join so now this one i will name it like pr which means previous month revenue now on what conditions i'm joining so they both have basically same column which is going to be this product id right so i can go ahead and say current month seat product id and the you know previous month product id basically like this previous month revenue and the product id that means the p dot product id which is going to be the same column because they both have same column isn't it so now if i just run it basically what i'm doing i'm first basically i've created the city from the city i'm selecting this product id then this uh, quantity sold and this basically current month revenue and this is going to return me the previous month revenue so now let's just go ahead and kind of you know here let's see this quantity i'm getting from the previous you know uh, the previous cte previous month revenue cte and this is i'm also getting from the previous month revenue cte okay so this is fine now i only need the product id whose revenue has decreased isn't it so that means i need to use a where conditions to say that this previous month revenue that means this revenue which is previous month revenue has to be greater than the current month revenue because i want to see the product which revenue has decreased in the current month right so i can use a where conditions here where and i can see that this current month or this previous month i can say this current month revenue is basically what is smaller than you know kind of the previous month revenue so the previous month revenue has to be greater then only i want to see those data for basically the product id quantity sold and the previous month revenue okay now this condition is very important because i only want to see the data where the revenue has decreased i don't want to see the product where revenue has increased in the current month so that's the reason i'm saying the current month revenue is lesser than the previous month revenue that means show me all this data only if this condition is fulfilled okay now where i'm getting this uh, you know basically revenue i'm getting it from the cte and i'm making a join between them right so that's how basically i'm getting the thing now let's see what are the things we need else other than that okay so i think we are good to go now i can just go ahead and run this query this should be working fine if there is no syntax error so let's see perfect so now you can see product id 1 we can just also verify it if the revenue has decreased or not let's see so the product id 1 quantity sold for the previous month let's just give some name here okay so current month i can just say as current month oops quantity okay this current month con quantity and this one i can just name it as like previous month quantity okay so so that we can you know better understand it previous month quantity now let's just run so whenever you will be running it you need to ensure that you are whole query selected i mean including all the cte so when you will run it it's first going to run whatever you have inside the cte then it's going to basically create this table then then it is going to basically run the you know basically outer this query where it is going to basically do some joining and all these things okay now you can see the product id one the quantity sold for the you know current month is 20 the previous month was 24 but we are only checking based on the revenue isn't it so now you can see previous month revenue was 18 uh, 1200 this month revenue is 10 uh, 1000 which is kind of you know less right that's the reason the revenue has decreased that's the reason we're selecting this product now see the next product so if i talk about the revenue for current month which is 640 dollars now it was 800 dollars in the earlier so you can see all the product that we're getting where the revenue has decreased you can see right so this product revenue has also decreased 
Now this is how you can solve this kind of complex problem just breaking the problem into smaller smaller problem then just build some logic so what i did initially if you remember i basically took a very small step where i basically you know did a group by by the product id and to basically see what is the revenue and uh, then basically i have kind of used the where functions to basically select the data only for the current month then i have kind of used the same query to basically you know in another city where i have basically removed one more month to get the revenue for the previous month then i kind of simply you know done some joining based on the joining basically you know we are getting the result so this is how we can basically think logically and solve really uh, you know complicated business problem and this is one of the most asked you know interview question for any e-commerce uh, you know data analyst interview i would say so let me give you a task for you so that uh, you can solve the task to basically improve your sql skills so the task is that write a sql query to find the product whose total revenue has decreased by more than 10% from the previous month so whatever the product we have where the revenue has decreased more than 10% let's just give you an example now, now this one so the previous revenue was 1200 now we have which is 1000 again now this one which is 800 and this is like 640 I think so 10% it has increased decreased more than 10% okay now this one also decreased uh, more than 10% so any product where the revenue has decreased more than 10% I want to see those all details now you can write down your queries in the comment box I am going to personally check them and let you know if you are correct if you are stuck with anything I would help you so that you can kind of clear this concept that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end now if you want to download this query just check the video descriptions I have added my github link so you can download this query and run this query to create this table so that you can basically solve this task thank you so much for watching the video till the end see you next time take care bye bye